So on this channel we've talked about many different hydrogen breakthroughs and different ways people have taken advantage of the fuel source. Now I am a huge believer in the technology and I believe that with hydrogen we can save the planet and car culture all at the same time. Now, a comment that I get on many of my hydrogen videos is plasma kinetics, people telling me to go and check it out. So that's exactly what I did and that's what we are going to talk about today. Now what I found when I went to research plasma kinetics was pretty damn cool. So the company was founded by Paul Smith, a former computer chip manufacturing engineer in 2008. The Arizona-based startup has developed solid-state hydrogen storage, essentially transferring the gas onto a proprietary film found in many layers inside of a canister. Now since the inception of the company back in 2008, they have faced a variety of difficulties to bring this technology to market. You see, the US government initially discouraged them from further pursuing this technology. Sadly, the government also slowed down the research by restricting the company's patents until 2017. Now because of all of these difficulties, the company was kind of run on the down low and not a lot of people knew about it. But with rising interest in hydrogen, they came back to life and have done quite a few interviews talking about the technology. So how does it work exactly? Well like I stated previously, Smith has a background in computer chip manufacturing and he approached the hydrogen storage issue with the same idea. In chips, engineers tried to layer up materials and get the conductivity the way they wanted. Now with this hydrogen storage canister, he did the same thing in order to conduct light through a whole bunch of negatively charged material. What happens is that his negatively charged material absorbs the hydrogen. When light passes through it, the polarity of the bonds changes to positive and the hydrogen gets released, which is a much better storage solution. You see, typically hydrogen gas storage requires the use of high pressure tanks which store the hydrogen at insanely high pressures, typically between 350 and 700 bar or 5000 to 10,000 psi. And this creates all sorts of challenges when you look at building a car using this fuel. Now the hydrogen in these canisters could be used in a whole bunch of different applications from electrical grids to fuel cell powered cars, hydrogen internal combustion powered vehicles and even dual fuel hydrogen diesel powered trucks. And according to plasma kinetics, the storage solution is better than battery storage. They assert that their canisters are 30% lighter, 7% smaller and 17% less expensive than lithium ion battery packs per kilowatt hour. Being more specific, Smith said that a 15 pound roll of this film could get a fuel cell EV to drive 20 miles. Trucks can get a 170 kg cylinder that offers a range of 917 km or 570 miles. Now one big advantage this technology gives is cost. You see, it does not need to be a super expensive, super strong carbon fiber tank like the tanks hydrogen is currently stored in. And according to Smith, the plasma kinetics technology already only costs 20% of what batteries go for. And with electrolyzers becoming more efficient at extracting hydrogen, the cost of the fuel will come down. That in combination with this technology will just bring a hydrogen powered future closer to reality. Now by 2023 they are looking at having a working prototype of this technology to show the world how it works and that it works. Now I for one am super excited, I would love to see how this thing works. And I think most people that are as invested in hydrogen technology as me are just as excited. So are there any drawbacks? Well in short, yes there is one. You see, the material deteriorates due to the formation of deuterium or heavy hydrogen. When the light shines in the material, it does not release deuterium. And as time goes on, more and more of these heavy hydrogen molecules form. This means that the overall storage capacity will go down over time. But luckily the film can be reused up to 150 times and they are 100% recyclable. Now Plasma Kinetics is working on an automated system to get these rolls or cylinders out of the cars and replace them with new ones. And if all goes to plan, swapping your old one with the new one will be completely free of charge. You see, deuterium can be recovered and sold as a commodity which covers the recycling costs. Now like I said, this is if all goes to plan. If everybody adopts this technology, and everybody uses it, more and more of this deuterium will be produced, which means that the value of it will decrease. But I mean, even if it doesn't cover the complete costs of the recycling, I think it's still fine. It will still help. If it can cover a decent chunk of the recycling costs, it's still a good thing. Now, plasma kinetics are facing quite a bit of skepticism. A lot of people are unsure if this is true because it seems too good to be true. 
And unfortunately, there are a few things that makes you wonder how legitimate this is. Most of the concepts are just CAD drawings, and their only working prototypes are handmade, and just large enough to power a light source. So in order for them to convince all of us, they are going to need to scale it up and prove the technology. But luckily, that's exactly what they want to do. Like I said previously, by 2023, they want to have a working prototype. So I think that everybody that is skeptical, that's fine. Just like wait and see if this thing works. I think it will. I am quietly confident, or not really quietly, I'm making a video about it, but I'm quite confident that it will work and I'm really excited for this technology. I mean, this could solve a lot of problems. One of the biggest problems with hydrogen is hydrogen storage. And if this works as they say it does, then this, this is just like freaking great. Yeah. Now, since this technology is relatively unknown and there's not a whole lot available on it, if any of you guys watching this channel has more info on this, email me or Instagram message me. So you can email me, my email is in the about on my channel, or you can just find me on Instagram. My handle is Christophan. Um, I, I'll probably just put it on the screen and you can see it. Just leave an Instagram message and then maybe you can, I'll make a second video with more info because I really couldn't find an insane amount of info on this. But yeah, so that's everything for the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you did like this video, I've got many more videos on hydrogen and like anything car related. So if you like cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.